one of the important point where uh, the electronics engineers uh, basically the schematic designers have to be very careful and especially detailed review must be done are the polarized components so why should we care about polarized components and um, what might cause problems we'll have a look okay now uh, polarized components are something uh, which have polarity like example uh, if you take a diode okay uh, so in this diode the part on the left is called uh, anode and the part on the right is called the cathode so this uh, you can also mention as plus minus okay mm, but uh, common uh, representation is and k where universal it is understood so these kind of components where uh, polarity is there uh, are called the polarized components like if you have if you take a diode okay let us assume um, we have some 5 volts or something okay and you have a diode here and then you have a load a very simple circuit Okay, so now in this scenario, uh, it is uh, very important that anode is towards uh, uh, the power supply side and cathode is towards the load side. Let us assume this is the load. Okay, in this case, when our uh, voltage is beyond some 0.7 volts uh, or whatever the breakdown of this diode, the diode conducts and the current flows to the load. Now, in case by mistake in the circuit, we reverse K and A. In that case, uh, the diode will always be in reverse bias position and the load will never get the current. A simple scenario to explain. And mm, there's one more scenario like uh, capacitors. <coughs> uh, capacitors can be polarized as well as non polarized. The electrolytic capacitors uh, uh, come under uh, the polarized uh, capacitor uh, criteria. So, this is the symbol uh, of a. Uh, <coughs> electrolytic capacitor where uh, plus uh, is on the top and the curve that you see here uh, is the minus uh, so when you are connecting um, like example let us assume this is used as a decoupling cap okay so the positive must always be towards uh, uh, the, the positive side of the supply and negative to the ground uh, if it's reverse there is every chance that this capacitor my damage and it might blast okay so uh, this is uh, uh, one more uh, uh, simple scenario uh, to explain um, why polarized uh, capacity components need to be given uh, special consideration and uh, let us uh, uh, see one more scenario let us assume we have a board okay and then you have a two pin connector okay uh, so let us assume this is pin 1 this is pin 2 and you are giving this uh, to uh, a capacitor internally for example and then this is a ground and further you are giving uh, two co other components in the circuit now mm, this is plus and this is minus because my the, the other end is grounded so now when let us assume we are connecting an external uh, supply to this board we have to ensure that plus and minus uh, need to be uh, connected in the proper direction otherwise a reverse uh, uh, connection of this uh, could uh, um, damage the circuit unless there is a reverse polarity protection implemented in the circuit so here again uh, very important that we mention plus and minus on the PCB uh, and when we are doing this as well circuits uh, uh, it is important that we mention A and K for the capacitors we mention plus and minus so uh, if the capacitor is here we have to mention uh, plus and minus uh, so very important considerations uh, and these are basically during the design now when we are reviewing the circuits a special consideration to be given uh, to these polarized components uh, to ensure that um, the the components are connected as per the proper polarity uh, to achieve the desired output so not only uh, the, the review uh, one has to thoroughly uh, see the connections and uh, ensure uh, that uh, the circuit works properly uh, how we gave a glimpse of polarized components and what to consider please post if you have any questions thank you